Good afternoon, friends. Once again, I am doing a first impressions on one of the Gareth Hogarth <coughs> blends that we got at Nottingham 2019. This one is the potential Xmas Christmas blend. And um, this is, as far as I know, a cherry vanilla. And they're considering bringing it out as a Christmas blend. Um, so far, I've tried several of the blends, mostly flakes, and each time um, I've been kind of made to eat my hat because I, the bourbon for instance, um, I really expected that to be an aromatic, an American style aromatic, and I wasn't expecting to enjoy it. I thought it'd be a Virginia Burley sort of uh, chemically kind of affair. And how wrong could I have been? It was completely the opposite, it was all about the flake. Um, and the aromatics were expertly added, and a fantastic, fantastic uh, flake that was. Well, I'm rather going through a whole long process with this one. Um, I've smoked it now for a few minutes. I'll just show you the tobacco. So, you got some bright Virginias. Obviously these are, are uh, samples which were given out, these are not existing uh, blends which are produced, uh, mass produced as yet, they're testers, um, so we don't know what the contents are, but I'm going to venture a guess at Virginia Burley Cavendish, um, and this one is a classic American style aromatic, and it tastes like it as well. So it's cherry and vanilla presumably. And it tastes very nice, it's sweet, it's a dessert kind of smoke, in terms of its sweetness. Uh, I am getting the burlies I think through it, I'm getting a little bit of a, a savoury sort of note that goes together with the sweetness. Um, it, we got it in a very nice condition, it's not overly wet, um, I let it sit out just for a few minutes, not, probably not even five minutes. Um, and it's perfectly humid, rather it's at the perfect level of humidity, so it's actually almost dry, just a drop of humidity there, perfect for loading your pipe. Bear in mind that it's, uh, I've had it in this little uh, baggie now uh, since uh, last Sunday, so it's been sitting on my desk for over a week now, so it's had a chance to dry out a bit, so I don't recall what it was like when I actually got it. Now, in terms of the blend, in terms of it being any different to any of the other American style tobaccos, no, not at all. There's nothing stand out about this tobacco at all for me, to be perfectly honest with you. I don't want to be too blunt, but it's a perfectly nice aromatic tobacco, but it's the same as every other cherry vanilla tobacco out there. There's nothing special about it. There's nothing stand out about it. It's very nice, don't, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with it. As far as flavours go, it's got a very nice cherry flavour, it's a little bit, um, you know, uh, you get a slight acidic note on the cherries rather than it being a really goopy, richy, sweet kind of cherry. It's sweet but with a little bit of uh, brightness to it, something like you'd get on Morello cherries, it has a little bit of acidity, and that's actually good, I do like that. Vanilla wise, it's not a very strong vanilla flavour. There is a flavour which goes along with the cherry, but to me it, it's not a particularly distinct vanilla flavour. It's just a sweet, creamy kind of flavour which goes with it, but it is accompanied by um, the typical flavour that you get with um, the basic aromatics, um, whether it's the alcohol or the intumescence or, or the um, rather the humescence. Um, it's that flavour that you get with all sort of the OTC style aromatics. I would say there's a little bit something extra. I don't know if it's the Burleys. There is a little bit something extra which, which is um, on the plus side. There is a bit of a richness to it. I 
would even venture to say that there's um, the slightest hint of Lakeland in there. There's something floral there in that flavour. But you wouldn't call this a, a Lakeland by any stretch of the imagination. It reminds me a little bit of the um, uh, the cherry cream flake, which I tried um, the other day. You know the one that I bought for uh, Andrew Sirigliano, now known as the Candle CC flake. The same kind of thing. I personally wouldn't have called it a Lakeland, but you do get the slightest whiff of a floral essence, or a floral flavour, and I'm getting it on this as well, so perhaps it's the same cherry that they use for this. But because of the style of um, blending this um, tobacco, um, I don't know if the fact that it's already rubbed has anything to do with it. Um, I, I don't know what the difference is. I don't know what the process for making this tobacco, how it differs from the CC flake, for instance. Um, but it's very different and it has that chemically uh, alcoholy kind of flavor to it um, so for me as I say it's it's it do, it's not stand out it's it's a run-of-the-mill aromatic and the little pluses that it does have are not enough to make it interesting for me For people who smoke nothing but aromatics, especially for those people who, sp who smoke a lot of American-style aromatics, they may well see this as a high-quality American-style aromatic. But in my sort of world, um, I'm comparing it to everything else that I smoke, and compared to everything else that I smoke, and especially those flakes that I've been trying out recently, this is um, doesn't come anywhere near. But that's just my preference. In terms of aromatics, it's got good flavour. I especially loaded more than half a bowl, more than I usually would to see whether the aromatics would wear off and whether the alcohol would, uh, sort of flavour would come through as I get down the bowl. So far, it's pretty consistent. The retro health certainly adds to the richness but you do have to draw quite deeply to really get and enjoy that, that, that richness but to be perfectly honest with you if I was looking for a really sweet smoke a very sweet cherry style smoke I'd probably go for Cult Blood Red Moon before I turn to, turn to this not because it's bad, it's just my personal preference if I was to, to, to want a very sweet tobacco. I will say this, that it does have this going for it, is that there is, um, if you draw deeply, there is a certain richness, a certain tanginess to it, which I wouldn't normally get on some of the other aromatics. So there is a small degree of maturity to this blend, even though it's clearly not an English-style blend, it's, a, it's an American-style blend. So in the world of American-style aromatics, it's quite possibly better than the average one. But in the world of somebody who tries out all types of tobaccos, it's nice, but not stand out. Um, if Gareth if, uh, Gar Hogarth were asking me, is this something which um, would be befitting for a Christmas blend? In terms of it being sweet um, and sort of a, a treat, a, desert, a dessert kind of blend, yeah. But I would want to make it a little bit more special. I would want to add in some spices and, and things like that to just make it different from every other cherry vanilla tobacco out there. There's so many of them. So to make it a Christmas blend, you know, why is it standing out as a Christmas blend, as a cherry vanilla tobacco? I don't see it personally. So that's my uh, tuppence on this uh, cherry vanilla potential Christmas blend for Ga uh, Gal Togarth. I hope... Uh, I, I, I know it sounded a bit negative. It's not. It's really um, a, a 
perfectly nice American style aromatic but as I said not stand out and not in the grand scheme of things when you compare it to English style tobaccos vapors and um, Latakias and when you, when you look at the whole picture of the tobacco industry it's 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 a high street over-the-counter run-of-the-mill aromatic tobacco thanks very much for watching catch you on the next one